Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, today our lecture on this stage of labor. It is an incredible process of childbirth. Labor is a complex event divided into a three stages. Um, each marked by a specific event and changes. While the exact mechanism that initiates a labor is not fully understood, we know that a regular and strong voluntary contraction of a smooth muscle in the uterus are primary symptom of the labor. The true labor produces palpable changes in the cervix, which is known as effacement and dilation. What is effacement and what is dilation? Let, um, first is effacement. Effacement is a sh shortening or thinning of a cervix from the thickness of 5 cm to inch before the onset of labor to the thickness of a piece of paper. In this uh, image, uh, you see the shortening, uh, the the length and the thickness is greater and here you see it is a shorter and thinner during the labor, before the labor and during the labor. So next is a dilation. In the dilation, the opening of a cervix from the diameter of a fingertip to approximately 10 centimeter or 4 inch. In this um, before the uh, labor, it is um, its diameter is about fingertip or uh, after uh, after the um, during the lab labor it is about 10 centimeter in this you can see in this diagram uh, before and during the labor let's uh, leave into our stages of labor the stage one uh, some women experience initial cervical dilation and effacement before they are in a true labor however by the end of this stage uh, the cervix are fully dilated and there is no doubt that the baby is about to be delivered. Stage 1 um, of the labor is divided into three major phases. Number 1 is the cervi uh, cervical dilation phase. Cervical dilation phase. In the cervical dilation phase, the cervix dilate from 0 to 3 cm or 0 to 1 inch and uh, which almost uh, completely efface. The, uh, the uterine contraction occur from the top to down, um, causing the cervix to open and pushing the fetus downward. And next one is a middle phase. In this, um, in the middle phase, the cervix dilate from zero to seven centimeter or one to three inch. And the contraction is strong and more regular. Uh, the transitional phase, uh, in this transitional phase, uh, the cervix dilate from eight to ten centimeter or three to four inch, uh, and the dilation is complete. And the uterine contraction is very strong and close together. Let's uh, start the st uh, stage uh, two. Uh, the stage two involves the pushing and expulsion of the fetus. The intra-abdominal pressure in the primary force uh, expelling the uh, fetus. This is a primary force. Abdominal pressure is a primary force which expels the fetus. Uh, it is produced by the voluntary uh, contraction of the abdominal muscle and the diaphragm. This abdominal pressure is produced by a voluntary contraction of the abdominal muscle and the diaphragm. Relaxation and stretching of the pelvic floor during the, uh, during the stage 2 uh, are, are also necessary for successful vaginal delivery. The uterine contraction may last as long as 90 seconds during this stage. Uh, during this stage, um, the fetal distain occurs and the fetal undergo a cardinal moment to pass through a pelvic and be born. Uh, the, what are the cardinal position? Number one is engagement. Uh, the greater transverse uh, diameter of the fetus head uh, pass through the pelvic inlet. You know that pelvic inlet is a superior opening of the minor pelvis. So in this um, in this engagement, the fetal head passes through the pelvic inlet. Uh, next one is descent. The continued downward progression of the fetus occur. In the descent, uh, the downward progression occur. Next one is a flagion. The uh, in in this in the flagion, the fetal chain is brought closer to the thorax. Uh, this occur when the uh, when the descending head uh, meet resistance from the wall of floor of the pelvic and cervix. Then after the flagion, the internal rotation occur. The fetus turn its occiput toward the mother pubic surfaces when the fetal head reach the level of ischial spine. After the internal rotation, the extension occur. In the extension, the flex fetal head reach the ava. The fetal extend its head, bring the base of occiput in the direct contact with the inferior margin of the maternal pubic uh, surfaces pubis. This phase end when the fetal head is delivered.
after the extension the external rotation occur in the external rotation the fetus rotate it occiput toward the mother's sacrum to allow the fetal shoulder to pass through the pelvic and then expulsion phase occur the fetal anterior shoulder pass under the pubic symphysis and the rest of body flow the next stage is a third stage of labor in this stage it is also known as placental stage expulsion of the placenta after delivery the uterus continue to contract and shrink causing the placenta to detach and expel the uterus decrease in size the placenta detach from the uterine wall blood vessel are constrict bleeding slow uh, this occur 5 to 30 minute after the baby is delivered the hematoma form Uh, forms over the uterine placenta site to prevent further uh, significant blood loss mild bleeding presents from 3 to 6 a week after the delivery uh, uterine involution uh, the uh, uterus continue to contract and decrease in a size from 3 to 6 week after the delivery uh, the uterus always remains slightly enlarged over the pre uh, pregnant size this journey of labor and childbirth is truly remarkable and understanding these uh, stages can help us appreciate the incredible process that occurred during the life changing event that's all